and let's see what uh, the teams are going to do. SOH open with uh, respawn truck as always and uh, two UAZ jeeps with the machine guns. Uh, no, I, I meant it was uh, get skilled. Now we get some of yours are up with some really interesting tactics. They start firing the uh, Humvee with the new launcher right away from their spawn, trying to perhaps have a more luck hitting the truck before it reaches the, uh, the the forest in front of the uh, point. It was a pretty interesting attempt though, it didn't really work. As we said before, uh, not doing specific stuff can uh, earn you uh, exactly what you want. Well, I know that EOS positions the uh, MHQ of this side, the valley east of the zone. And we get the first killer Squad. here. Georg spam shoots the, the way the road in front of the location where the points are scored, but he doesn't manage to get any result here. 101 fight the zone at the moment. Uh, Public Morozov taking a left flank with his uh, grenade launcher. I think he's going to be aiming for the MHQ. Oh. Oh no, he goes down. Beautiful play by the DF. No team uh, actually tries to claim the zone, they both um, try to get map control now. The first move for getting it is by Georg. As we said a lot of times before, in this specific map, map control is maybe more, more important than actually having the zone controlled and scoring points. As you can hear, as you, as you can see here, Yah Live, I hope I pronounced it right, is on the back side of the objective uh, waiting maybe for players of uh, get skilled to try to rush in and get them in the back Master Refuge managed to spot him inside the tree and takes him out DF still on the SG. He made a real high flanking move on the right. He's positioning himself very close to the uh, western bone area. I think he managed to destroy the MHQ. It looks like so, definitely, yes. He's under fire right now by Sergei Tlenin that has the machine gun. Yeah, that was Sergei Tlenin. He's right now chasing him. I don't think that's a very smart idea. And if you check the map, you can see that there's only one uh, SOH player in, in, inside the field. The rest are all dead and they're at base trying to attack. So actually, if you get around from the right, probably trying to get some field, not to get to, to avoid uh, getting spawn killed by uh, DF and his SPG. And the... Uh, Yes, uh, get skill is getting their MHQ inside the uh, zone area, and they score 25 points for that. Oh, and here we get the F with the SPG uh, aiming at a Humvee. He fires the first shot and destroys the wheels, and the second one um, destroys the Humvee. No, yes, but uh, the driver gets out out. and heals himself as a medic, Dmitry Krabyshev, I hope I actually managed to pronounce this right. <coughs> I think he's Karbyshev. 
Okay. Okay, now no, DF got past the uh, medic. Then. Um, looks like he's going to be easy kill. Yes. Goes down. Easily. Two of the uh, heroes players are on the far right flank, probably attempting to uh, engage NMHQ. And they bring the MHQ with them to making a big circle. Now Georg is uh, waiting outside of the edge of the forest where the heroes team is or may, may try to make the push, and this is kind of interesting as this is a tactic, tactic of map control and he spots an enemy he will engage him right now with he gets a kill with the GB25 on him he let Sergi Lenin get past him let's see how it's gonna turn out Mass Refuge is uh, holding the back side of the base, so I don't think they will spot um, Tolenin uh, now if he tries to push inside the zone. It's the only two Lenin's of Mass Refugee in the, in the zone. And we'll get a kill there. <coughs> Blue 4 players are near the respawn truck of uh, the old 4 forces. And so they they know that, and they're trying to move it to another position, maybe the safest one. Or Good play there by SOH. Now we get a one on one, uh, close quarter one here uh, uh, near the church. So Gay Tulun tries to spot his enemy. Uh, he's exactly behind him, I think he managed to hear, to hear him. No, not really, and here there we get a kill. The area is secured again by Opera Forces. But, uh,. The respawn truck of uh, its killed is being chased, and I think it's going to go down now. They're firing the M203s on it. Good play there. And now Pavlik Morozov uh, destroys it, so gets killed. We have trouble uh, spawning near the location now. It's a very difficult situation. Fast refugee. He's still in the zone, but being attacked by three men. Now we get a good play there. He's now chasing the respawn truck as he managed to hear it, but at the last moment he's killed by uh, Pavlik Morozov. Yeah, that's a great over by uh, Soviet heroes. But still, Georg has an RPG here, and I think he's trying to chase the respawn truck before uh, SOH manages to place and decide the zone and score the 25 points. No, they do not attempt that, they just move it a bit uh, more. No. Yes, they're bringing it now, so we might we might see a kill here with the respawn truck being destroyed. I think the first one missed. Yes, the first RPG round misses the respawn truck. Now he has an. But now it's yeah, destroyed. Yeah, he got it. Perfect shot. He's still alive, nobody's him. Now it's gonna be his turn to turn it back. Before he dies, he managed to score a kill though. Still two sub heroes inside their zone. 
And they will have to hold it until the MHQ arrives. But now the F managed uh, to get through or over the defenses and uh, moving forward to wait maybe for the respawn truck or reinforcements. I think he's going to position himself to cut off the way for the MHQ. Yep, that's correct. And SOH bring the respawn truck and uh, motorbike guy. And they're gonna go right into his claws. Master Fuge is attempting a lonely attack on the zone. He's going right next to the road. Let's see how he's gonna cope with that. But now there's a mistake by them. They. The F uh, closes in too much and. Uh, SOH gets the warning, uh, Yahlev tried to intercept him but uh, with no effect, we have managed to kill him instantly. So the two landing with kill on the uh, cruising QAZ with the grenade launcher. I think he's gonna take it over. And now we get a great grenade there by a mass refugee inside the church. Pavlik Morozov is hiding inside the building and he has cover from the high ground. So it will be kinda hard to take him out now. He's surrounded three players. I don't think he's gonna make it. He's got kill. one, nice shot. But now must refugee gets him. He's, yeah, yeah, that was just predictable, but anyway, mm -hmm. nice attempt. And now gets killed, gets map control and the location too. They go to one plane, the tower and the respawn truck there. Very interesting move by, uh, by Dog. Gatorland is under fire now from the tower. <coughs> Hasn't been hit yet. It's making a very big circle in order to avoid fire. Yachliv will uh, probably get a shot on the respawn truck. So he fires at the driver right now. He could use his M203 to destroy it instead. He makes a mistake and he just spots him and takes him out. And we got five points for get skill once again. Do you have the score? Because uh, it has not, hasn't appeared for me. I need to check it out, but I don't think so. No, I don't. And the F finally managed to get uh, Sir Gatlin, who was the driver of the UAZ that he managed to stall before. Interesting situation. Mars is very close to the zone. Got Mass, mass Refuge right next to him. Whoa. Good play there by both teams. Took some sacrifice, but the public Morozov has managed to challenge the zone. Oh, he's got a man right in front of him. He takes out. One defender outside of his zone, but still want to go. Eos is pretty injured here, I don't think he can walk. 
if you get shot in the legs in this game, uh, you can't walk until you, f you heal yourself, or heal by a medic, or heal at the medical tent. There's only one medical tent in this map, in the center of the location where you score the points. Now he is guarding the frontal side uh, of the, the location, the frontal side for the blue four forces, and uh, now if you could see on my background there is uh, one SOH player trying to move his side, I think it's still under the machine gunner, but uh, the F doesn't manage to spot him yet. I think he did now. And yes, his scores are killing him. Now we get interesting stuff here. Both public models of Aeneas are injured and can't uh, walk. And they're trying to find cover. Morozov is getting flanked from the right. Very aggressive move by Mars Fuge. But he's still seeing him. Oh. And now he goes down. <laughs> Good play there. Oh, he fires. Amazing. Amazing. The M203 won't go off uh, from a very close distance. Still a chance for Soviet heroes take over. Jack Live is uh, challenging the zone but getting under fire. He's very lucky I just can't stand up. Whoa. M203 goes off just behind the wall where he's hiding. But the last one <laughs> finally took him out. Now the Earth is with Could an RPG. You? But he misses the Humvee with the RPG, but the second one won't miss him. It's a pretty tough, pretty tough situation here for um, SOH. Where they place the respawn truck, there's, they're far away. I don't know, what do you think about it? Should they change their tactic or just keep pushing with this? I don't really know. I think their, their initial tactic of flanking very far to the right was very good. And it turned out just the right way. They go over the zone for a couple of minutes. It was just unlucky. George wasn't spotted in time and he managed to save the team from from you know a very bad situation it's going to be really difficult if they uh, place their MHQ very close to their respawn area I think they should really push hard now that we get Sergei to lane not spotted by the hopeful forces here and I think Master Refuge will be in trouble right now So get Lena decides not to engage the enemy and instead of that throws a grenade. Not quite the effect expected, maybe. Master Refuge tries to find from where the grenade came from, but he gets out of the zone and uh, Blue for forces reset the timer for scoring of the points. Sergei Tulin in the London zone, still able to challenge it, but uh, EOS has really strong support from the other team members at the back of the zone. I don't think there is any chance uh, 
one man can actually take over this zone alone. Well, the blue for medic spots an enemy soldier, but he can't really engage as he gets uh, pretty much uh, covered every one or two seconds now. I think he might have a clear shot on him, but he misses. He's firing, he injures his enemy. Georg is injured, but he managed to spot his enemy and tries to get him with uh, GB25, but uh, with no effect, and he, get, he goes down. play there with Master Refuge, but he doesn't spot uh, the enemy that he was uh, looking for. Good play. Oh, he got him. Good play. I think, I think Skill is in a real control of the situation right now. Yes, if heroes do not change their tactic, um, I don't think they will have any good effect there. Uh, there's a chance there to get uh, the Get Skill Respawn truck here with Pavlik Morozov. But I believe that um, gets killed. Know that uh, he's somewhere around there because they haven't spotted him for a long time. As you can, and as you can see here, uh, Georg is guarding the small truck, but public managed to hit him with an M203. The second one goes off too. He misses the second one. He misses the second. But the first made the work, and uh, the respawn truck of gets killed, gets destroyed, and Georg gets a kill on public Mozart, But his mission, I think, is accomplished. SOH, I think, have a decent gameplay right now, but uh, to be honest, I think they should uh, try to get a, a little bit more map control, move the respawn truck a bit uh, closer to the zone, and maybe have one player play with aggression, maybe behind the objective so he can stop incoming reinforcements on respawn truck by help for. Convey rush there, pretty interesting stuff. But at the last moment, he's destroyed and. Uh, TF has managed to get on the top of the Northern Tower. He's got a really nice spot on all the SOH men coming out of their respawn truck area. If they don't move the image, it's gonna be. He's gonna give them a real hard time. Oh, actually, he's still fire. He was spotted in time. I, th I think he's giving directions for... Good play there, Master Refugee. I think he's giving directions for the AGS, like a spotter or something. Public Might be very much, yeah. Public Morozov tries to get inside the zone, he's under fire from the tower and from the church. He fires an M203 but it won't uh, go off since it's very close and he he's exchanging grenades. He's being fired by the child by the F and he's down at last. Uh, he actually hit the one in front of him, like half a meter in front of him, that's why. Oh. Get skilled here has lost the respawn truck, and since they have the control, I think they should uh, have a player respawn and bring one more inside. They'll even get 20 more, 4 points. 25. I think they are very. I think the reason they're not taking their MHQ is that they are very confident with their situation right now, and they don't really feel a need to, well, let enemy have an attempt on their MHQ once again with the 10 points. Although I would say that bringing in inside the zone 25 points wouldn't be such a bad idea at all. Now Sir Gitlinian tries to get the F, he's on the top of the tower. No, he changes his course and he's going for, for the zone. As you can see here, he's under fire by the tower, the F is still up there. But as you said before, they are pretty confident and since they get all the position they want, it's not pretty easy for 
heroes to approach and even they think that they have a respawn truck brought uh, back and they're trying to flank them maybe to score a kill on it or get the objective I don't know but this definitely slows them down great aggression there Osrific had left uh, his guarding position and he got uh, is it a 5 kill streak or more maybe I think he's over 10 right now he's really he's really like form today probably a man of them I would say <laughs> Public Morozov though managed to slip through, but I think that now Eos is going to spot him. No, he's looking to, to the other side right now. Public Morozov gives away his position. He managed to score a hit in him, but not a kill. Now he's taking out the mass refuge that's was coming back to defend the base. He hesitated on uh, killing Eos, who was changing his position, and it didn't really pay off. Yes, that's correct. Finally, the got RPG. He's gonna do a flanking move on the MHQ, probably. It's very far to that. He's gonna get on the back of all the uh, SOH members. The get skill is right on the line defense, protecting all areas of approach. Mass Refuge also goes from the back side behind the northern tower. The southern, not the northern, sorry for that. And now the respawn truck is spotted by the F and he fires an RPG that uh, destroys the respawn truck. And this is the third respawn. Oh, and he responds instantly. I think he's going after destroying the truck. He's going to bring their own inside the zone, as we said before, to score the extra 25 points. Only two men left the zone. This is a chance for uh, Soviet heroes to at least recapture the zone. I think that at, this, at that specific moment the F should not have respawned, he should have uh, continued with uh, intercepting any incoming reinforcements or maybe a truck. There's two minutes left, I'm not sure if they're oh, gonna make it. Only two minutes, I didn't have a timer or a score there. I haven't managed to see the score, sorry. <laughs> okay. It was uh, around 260 points for get skill. But I think it was really high advantage above the uh, above average. You know, it's the end of the first round here. Uh, let's see the score. The score is 281 points for Get Skilled, 289 for SOH. Get skilled, get for a pretty solid and standard play, in my opinion. They get map control and maybe trying to control the zone after they, after the first uh, attack, the opener. Well, let's take a look at the uh, scores, at the personal scores at the end of the round. The advantage of uh, get skilled players is really significant. 
total is 39 to 21 kills. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but they are in the control of the uh, of destroying the MHQs. The SOH is not really that successful. I guess we're gonna have to switch the servers right now, as it has been agreed, as I remember. Yes, the second round is gonna play it on the SOH server. There is uh, less, a little bit less than 200 points to score for SOH. Now let's see the opener. Uh, SOH starts with a motorbike, a machine gun UAZ and a respawn truck. And on the other side we get uh, get skilled, started with two machine gun Humvees and uh, a respawn truck. They even have, oh, the one, mach the one uh, Humvee is not a uh, machine gun one, it's uh, with a grenade launcher. And uh, my bad here, there are three Humvees, not two. Surprisingly, they're not coming out of the SPG. Let's see how it's gonna knock itself. VF is making a circle and he's going for the higher tower on the north. He is positioned the MHQ in a standard position west of the dome. And we can see the uh, stern MHQ is in place as well. Good play there with Mass Refugee. He destroys a UAZ and scores two points and he gets two kills. He is massively spamming the backside of the base trying to hit the respawn truck there where is a small valley a pretty standard position for the op for uh, placement of the respawn truck. I think that uh, SOH placed the respawn truck a bit further to a bit farther maybe. Let me more correct. At least we see some clear. Very nice. Go. Yeah, very nice by Dimitri who has managed to spot the uh, the gunner of the hum in some all now so it was a really bad situation for for SOH, they just team get a team kill, and they don't want to have it in this time of uh, the game. Mass Refuge has uh, adopted a pretty standard position here to have an overwatch, but now he's shot from the back side. And Pavlik Morozov tries to find some cover. So he's now in control of the zone. Morozov heals himself and uh, Right now the whole SOH team is wiped. Uh, from what I see, uh, Get Skill doesn't really try to score points, they're more like trying to push uh, the SOH team back so they can't score points. GF with a free move with his uh, M2 Humvee. It's going for the uh, MHQ, but there are some defenders next to it. Yeah, the player, the some players are focusing on uh, defending the MHQ for the time being. I think they, they know that every point counts now. <laughs> and they finally managed okay. to score kill. 
And then uh, clear to help up the others uh, reclaiming the zone. Still, I can feel that uh, Gasco is pretty confident with their with their formation right now. A very good shot there by Dimitri, by the way. They're not really rushing the zone. Still one defender left. It's probably must refuge right. Let's see if we can uh, off the attack. Zone challenged. Soviet heroes have uh, captured the uh, Humvee from the get skill side, but they're not making use of it. Got a good, nice, uh, long range shot there by MS Refuge. Oh, we got a mistake there. Oh, uh, these are kind of costly mistakes you never want to take and make during the match. And especially by, I would say, an experienced player such as Public here. Now, no one's scoring points from the time for the time being. EF is picking an RPG, I guess. George in the zone. It's getting flanked from both sides by Soviet Rose. Now we get a grenade here. But I don't think uh, you can reach inside the objective from that far. Yeah, but he's a grenade launcher. It was a hand grenade that. Uh, So it's really interesting to see how Soviet heroes are actually trying to attack as a team, not as single soldiers right now, even though they make some mistakes. They try to show that what the armor is all about. Nice shot, and again, there is only one defender left at the zone. DF with a key move to take out the enemy MHQ and I think he's gonna make it. There's no defender left at the shot and uh it's gonna be ten points for a kill. But now the zone is controlled by the op four, but um but they will be in trouble if they lose a respawn truck. Right now it's the one thing they don't want to ha to happen. Yeah definitely. You have to count every point. And especially if they lose the respawn truck, the, the blue four team will get a great advantage right now. I'm pretty sure they're gonna lose right now. There's no defender here. Yes. And, uh, yeah, DF has already seen the... Uh, MHQ and he's taking it out. Bad news there for SOH. And now the AF will have a chance to intercept any incoming uh, respawn truck or any other vehicle from the base. <coughs> George and Refuge will the attempt to recover the, the zone. Play there by mass refuge, but he's getting taken out. So 
this is some solid ending, but I think they should be more aggressive. They should haunt the enemy and HQ. They just can't stay at the zone all the time. Yes, I totally agree with you, especially in this specific map. Um, even though you have wide open spaces, there is uh, there are always chances of some player to slip through your defensive or the most solid one and get inside the zone and cause you trouble. Oh no. Oh, my refuge is gonna be in trouble. As the mission gunner of SLH has an overwatch on the road. And he gets taken out. Very good. Only defending, but as I mentioned, it will not be enough. Yeah, but, uh,. Yeah, live live. Uh, he's trying to make the flanking move you mentioned before. A bit of aggression here, but still they have no respawn truck in play. So if they get casualties, they'll have uh, problems, as uh, they have no respawn truck. And now the F is he's going. His... There you go. He's uh, the uh, has left his bike very close to the area, and uh, I'm not really sure what he's trying to achieve. I think he's got to go for the MHQ and doesn't want to be hurt. But still walking all that uh, way is uh, gonna give trouble to his team that needs to hurry, score points, and yeah, definitely, it's gonna buy them a win. Another, um, I would say sometimes um, it's a mistake by teams that they leave only one player inside the zone. This way you can have an enemy soldier, just one, slip through your defense and reset your timer. The timer is one whole minute to score eight points. It might sound uh, like a very small time, but uh, trust me, I think it's uh, it can give you a big score advantage, but here they get only one player. But still, the defense is uh, pretty decent. I believe that. Uh, and the MH Eastern MHQ is on the way. They're trying to position it the northern side of the map. Uh, the F has managed to spot here. Uh, yeah, live, leave. But uh, I think that both have spotted each other, maybe. You can see on the back side of my screen that the sniper is uh, engaging him, and yes, he's down. Another timer is going to be res resetted. Zone challenge uh, by Mass Refuge. He's got it, I mean, from him. he throws out a nade. A very accurate shot, but. Uh, his enemy just repositioned. No luck there. He's gonna engage his. Uh, yes, as I expected, killed the, the guy before behind uh, Mass Refuge now. Accidentally, Mass took out his own uh, Humvee, but he gets the kill and he reclaims the zone for his own team. Now SOH move the respawn truck further to the north. It's a bit far right now. I think that uh, gets killed. They're moving their truck. I think they'll they'll try to place it inside the zone for an extra 25 points now that uh, all the fighting have uh, stopped. But now they will get an engagement, a long distance one. As you can see in armor, you can have fights happen to like uh, very close range and sometimes to more than 200 or 30, 300 meters at times. 
actually you can even find that distances ranging to two or three kilometers of sniper rifles. This is amazing, I would say. Yes, totally. Now, get skills, scored 25 points with the respawn truck, and uh, you cannot leave the respawn truck inside the zone. You have to move it outside so you can actually use it. If it's inside the zone, it's not functionable. And to be honest, I think that uh, at this point, Get Skilled clears the game and uh, claims the victory. Definitely. I think SOH has any chance to get back on the track. Get Skilled plays a solid game all throughout the whole game, and uh, I think they really earned it through here. It's a good coordination of moves, good communication probably. As you can see again, they are in a line fence. No. Not really let uh, anyone pass their uh, positions and pass the zone. Now I think they are going to lose the respawn truck, but uh, it won't be much of a casualty. Yeah, silly missing but they can afford it. It's not really a big deal for them. I believe they maybe even do that then purpose so they uh, give a chance to the enemies to destroy it. When you destroy the respawn truck you get 10 points and if they place it inside the location they get 25 points. So if they rush the respawn truck right now inside they'll have uh, they have only gain points. F exchanges the M24 for the Dragunova, I think. Or <laughs> at least he tries to, his armor can get a bit glitchy sometimes. The SPG is rushing to the zone, not a very good idea. Yeah, this was very careless, he didn't even use it. Very lucky. Awesome grenade. Okay, they, the SPG goes out. Four points for West team. He actually distracts all the enemies now. Uh, public motors can challenge the zone, but no. Oh. He gets spotted by Mass Fusion. And once again, the zone is. Uh, belonging to West. I think EOS is going to drive the respawn truck directly inside the zone right now. Here we got a machine gun off the east side coming up on the hill but I'm not sure he's if he's gonna be able to stop it. Fires one them on. Oh. But he's not able to slip. Massive and 20 points. SOH haven't brought the respawn truck all this time. Now, uh, Yachtlag is gonna get a kill on the easy kill on the respawn truck, I guess. He gets a kill on the driver and the GP25 on the truck, so it's gonna be destroyed, I guess. Finds a second one to be sure, but he gets injured there by some fire. Got hit by George, I think. And finished off Master Refuge. Very nice teamwork. Master Refuge is crazy today, <laughs> if you ask me. I think he's giving a pretty good a show. very good one, but he's, he's always a really good show. He's one of the best players in this tournament. You can see how aggressively uh, get skilled plays right now if you see the position of Georg. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it to be honest. Um, he's further... Now we get some strange moves there. 
<laughs> He's stretching his legs, huh? <laughs> yes, maybe. <laughs> Now an RPG is going to be a respawn truck gets attacked by an RPG, explodes exactly in front of it, and the driver is killed. And I think oh, the second RPG goes. Shot. And another 10 points for gets killed, plus a driver 11. I think that SOH have given up or something. I'm not quite sure. Now another respawn um. truck is coming inside the zone for gets killed. I believe that they've started this map very much. They know exactly what they want and what they need to do. I can go. I got subtitled into the scores right now. It's 10 minutes left. 194 points for gets killed. Seven seven four. Uh, Soviet heroes, and I don't think there. Well, I'm pretty sure there is no chance for Soviet heroes now. But still, they win this uh, this round if they try really hard. Yes, that's true. Armin 2 is a fun game. There's no rewards, so you can just have fun. It's also a bit of a problem of the maps used in this tournament. Uh, I made them myself, to be honest, but in most cases and some maps, it's pretty hard to come back if you get a bad opener. Now the F points his enemy there. He tries to get him, but uh, he lies behind. A small heal heal line. He gets shot in the face, but he doesn't die. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, yeah, I got console insight into this. Oh, oh. he got it, actually. <laughs> Good play nice there. Comeback. And another ad from the Soviet heroes, they're trying to flank around from the right. They got the SPG placed uh, in a high position. You could spam some high explosivity rounds, maybe take out someone just in random. There's no real assault in enemy MHQ positions and uh, from the very beginning of the game and I think this is the reason they can't really come back into holding the zone again. Probably. Because uh, Gaskill has constant supply of, thanks to the MHQ, of new fresh soldiers, fresh response to <laughs> Yes. A very good play there by F, managing to take a missing gunner in a very close quarter. And this refuge get also a kill. Now we got a pretty strange situation here. The mass refuge gets a kill, but gets killed too. Gets killed, gets killed. <laughs> I think that uh, was the thing they tried to achieve with his name. <sighs> Now the F tries to get a very hard shot and he misses. No, it's not the F, it's Gerg. And he finally gets a kill. Most refuge plays with a horn here. <laughs>
So there was with an offensive uh, motorbike rush on both sides, but oh, this is all they are left with. They can't read much more than that. They have no other vehicles because I haven't managed to get a view on their base. And this, I think so. I think I think they don't have vehicles. I didn't have any inside the injury base as well, but in this game mode, you do not uh, get respawn for the vehicles that you got in your base. Only the vehicles that are in random positions, not random score. And some specific objectives in specific maps this one has no free vehicle They still got one HQ left, but they're saving it for later, I think, or they just don't want to lose the points. Oh, by the way, there's a very good shot there by Dimitri. Yeah, Master Refuge finally hunted down. <laughs> now, Gurk has stolen uh, a UAZ and he's going in a higher ground, so he can intercept any incoming motorbikes or vehicles in general. He doesn't suspect he's got a man on his back. And he goes. Yeah, he goes down. Good play there by Pavlik Morozov. Now there is a small lens for uh, Soviet heroes to take control over the field. There is only one player in the zone. And the other three Soviet heroes have encircled them. But there is already a refuge coming back to the zone to help them out. Good an engagement with the sniper and Mass Refuge, he is trying to. They're trying to kill each other. Pretty interesting uh, view there. And now he's taken out by Pavlik Morozov that managed to push forward here. As you can see, the kills here are 29 for blue 4 and 20 for up 4. 30 now. 10 kills is not a big uh, difference. Uh, you can see matches won with the losing team having this amount of difference of kills in a positive way. <laughs> yeah, because it, it's all about the points, and uh, it doesn't. The flags don't really count that much because you get like one point for each kill, right? So yes. it's not really much. Still killing the enemy players gives you victory, of course, but if you don't utilize and have a good tactic and map control, killing doesn't really count. After all, the respawn time is 15 seconds, so... Here we get some Russian stuff. I don't make what they mean. Do you know? I I, I understand the last part of what he said. Translate it as. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> And it's 
the end of the second round in the game. Pretty pretty clean victory by get skilled. 306 points to 85 for SOH. The total score you can see the kills here. <coughs> Yeah, the, the, the emphasis of get skill was seen, could be seen from from the very beginning of the game, and I think they played very well, very consistently, and that actually let them win this match. Yeah, 